Welcome to the rock pile. <laughs> Ernestine, this is Dottie Pitt. Hello. And this is Dr. Jackson. Jackpot. Hello. <laughs> and I'm Gloria Brancusi. Ripples. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> uh, do I detect an accent? Yes, I'm from Jamaica. Oh, well, you are going to love it here. That is, if you're as lucky as I am. <laughs> it just makes me tingle all over. <laughs> Do you know where you're going to be working? Yes, for Dr. McIntyre. I'm his new scrub nurse. S scrub nurse? Trapper and I have known each other for... Uh, I... Did I say something wrong? No. Dottie's been filling in as Dr. McIntyre's temporary scrub nurse. And she's kind of convinced herself that she's indispensable. Excuse me. Dottie, I'm really sorry. I had no idea. It... Oh, it's, um... It's nothing. I, I understand. I'm sure Dr. John felt that we were growing much too close. That, that can uh, destroy one's efficiency, you know. Yeah, uh, yes, I'm sure that's it. You really think so? Absolutely. He warned me that the nurse I was replacing was a tough act to follow. I bet you spoiled him rotten. I certainly did try. <laughs> Well, I just hope I can maintain your standards. I hear Trapper is very demanding. Oh, yes. Oh, Dr. John insists on perfection. Uh-oh. I'm in big trouble. Oh, dear. I, uh... Oh, I don't want Dr. John disappointed. Would you like me to, uh, give you some tips? You know his likes and his dislikes and his funny little eccentricities. Dottie, that's very sweet of you. If it isn't too much trouble. Oh, nonsense. Helping you is helping Dr. John. And that's all that matters. As long as you don't uh, take him away from me. <laughs> Are you kidding? I wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you around O.R. <laughs> oh, you're really going to love it here. You really are. Dr. Gates, Darby Sheldon's my patient. Oh, hiya, Doc. Yeah, Miss Sheldon just drove out of here about two, three minutes ago. Asked for the shortest way to the Palace of Fine Arts. Thanks. We have to talk. Our lawyers are being paid to do our talking for us, Gonzo. Let's not spoil it. That lawsuit is your father's idea, isn't it? Don't you think I've got a mind of my own? Your mind doesn't work that way. I warned you, I don't enjoy being rejected. But you do enjoy being controlled and manipulated by your father. Now, wait a minute. Let go of Not me. yet. Can't you see what's going on? You know what your father's world is like? You're the only thing of any real value in his life, and he's going to go to any extremes to keep you right there under his thumb. Well, maybe I like it there. Did you ever think of that? You could be living your own life your own way, Darby. All you have to do is cut the string. Gonzo, I was marked fragile from the day I was born. I've always needed special handling, and TK has always been there to protect me and care for me, and there's nobody in the world who would do as much. Darby, that's not true. Look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the lawsuit. I'm sorry about everything. But you're going ahead with it. you out, Darby. You're constantly challenging your illness, roller skating, swimming, surfing, but you won't challenge your father. I told you Oh, why. I don't believe that. 
I think you're afraid of him. No, I'm afraid of me. I mean, what would I do without TK? Where would I go? I've never worked... I've never worked a day in my life. I've got no skills, no talent. All I do really well is... is bleed. And there isn't much demand for that. All right, Darby, it's time to go home. I didn't know there was a curfew, Sheldon. It applies to you, too, Doctor. Just who the hell do you think... Gonzo, please, no. Just go on, please. Did you follow us here? I follow you everywhere. I thought you knew that. I'm beginning to hate you, TK. every 15 minutes, okay? Is she any better? No. And you're not helping Mrs. Kaufman, feeding her all that stuff about Dr. Gates. Oh, well, I was just trying to explain to her why he's not her doctor anymore. Don't you realize what you're doing? That child idolizes Dr. Gates. She's ready to trust him with her life. Well, you can't hide the truth from her, Doctor. What truth? All you're doing is confusing her with a lot of vicious rumors. Well, I wonder if it's true. I mean, you may have a deviant roaming the halls, and you're not doing anything about it. Okay, we've scheduled a hearing for Thursday morning. Until then, Dr. Gates will keep on doing what he's paid to do. And until then, you tell him to stay away from my alley. All right, that's your privilege. But let me tell you something, Mrs. Kaufman. You're endangering your child's life with this ridiculous attitude. She's got enough problems without having to handle your neuroses. So for God's sakes, if you can't be kind to Dr. Gates, at least be kind to her, hmm? The way I see it is the poor woman is repressed. Her hatred of men is actually a sublimated form of self-hatred. How's it going? Lousy. That bad, huh? Who's on that committee anyway? Well, there's Slocum and two members of the board. That's three big votes against Gonzo. And we got two doctors. What about the doctors? Well, one of them's Trapper John. Good, he's on our side. And the other is Dr. Olivia Fromkiss. Oh, no. What's wrong with Dr. Fromkiss? She's an excellent pediatrician. And she does exquisite needlepoint. Yes, but she's just come off a very messy divorce. Another man-hater. Another vote against Gonzo. Well, what do you expect? That ex-husband of hers was a, a monster. Stanley. Hmm? Isn't your father the chairman of the board? Your very first day here. How could you possibly know that? You told me. Isn't there some way he could arrange for Gonzo to have a fair hearing? Are you suggesting that our disciplinary committee will give him an unfair hearing? I'm saying that Gonzo needs a break, and maybe you could ask your father to help. Absolutely not. So you have to understand, Ernie, uh, Dr. Riverside doesn't think very much of Dr. Gates. Oh, that's not true. Where did you get that idea? I like Gonzo. But not enough to help him. Well, that is your privilege. Hey, guys. Wait a minute, you guys. I'd like to help Gonzo. I always like to help those who are less fortunate than I, but uh, my father, you... Well, you don't know my father. It's not what I think or what you think. It's what the committee thinks. They have... Hi, doctor. <laughs> Morning, doctor. Morning. Where's Mrs. Wallenstein's chart? Uh, she's gone, sir. Gone? Where? Her husband had her transferred last night to Bay General. What for? Oh, 